Hi everyone, I'm Steven. I'm Minnie. Welcome to Enjoy English School, and today we're going to be on the topic of travel English. Please refer to pages 58 to 59, and today's date is October 28th. 那我们今天十月二十八号呢，在第五十八到五十九页的地方，我们今天的主题是观光英文哦。And the title of today's、uh, excerpt is in flight service. 那我们今天的主题叫做先生，你还需要什么呢？ And it's a dialogue between Edward and a flight attendant. Edward is flying economy class. He presses the button to call a flight attendant. 那我们今天的对话呢，是发生在这个乘客叫 Edward， 然后还有我们的这个 flight attendant， 也就是我们的空服员，在呃这两个人的对话。那爱德华呢，他搭这个 economy class， 就是我们所谓的经济舱。那他按下服务钮，然后呼叫这个空服员。All right, let's get started. All right. So before we begin, in our introduction, we saw that Edward is flying economy class. So if he's in first class, it would be Edward is flying first class,、mm. right? And then if he's flying business class, 商务舱 he is flying business class. But fly, we know that means to like fly, right? 飞飞起来 He's not the one. Drive, you know, conducting. 不是驾驶飞机那个人啦。Right. If you, if they say that you're on the plane in that area in the economy class or business class, we use the verb flying economy class or flying business class, even though it's not you who is flying. 那如果说我们是机长的 pilot 在开飞机，我们可以说 the pilot is flying the airplane. The、mm-hmm. 但是呢，我们在这边我们说 fly 什么 class 代表就是你在那个舱里面，不是真的代表你开飞机，没有这么多人会开飞机。Exactly. 对，但是。<laughs> Mm-hmm. All right. So the flight attendant starts the conversation. Okay. They say, "Hello, sir. What can I do for you?" 先生你好，请问有什么需要服务的吗 ？Right. So here we see "Hello, comma, sir."、Mm. That's in written English. Okay. Like if I said, "Oh, 小姐你好 it would be "Hello, ma'am." Okay. "Hello, comma, m a m, ma'am." Okay, but when we're saying it, we don't have to pause. Okay, that's just for written purposes. So, hello, sir. There's no pause in between the two words. What can I do for you? You could also say, How can I help you? 那在这边 ，Hello, sir. 我们中间有个逗号，这是在我们书写英文的时候需要去做的。那 sir 在这边就是我们泛指呃先生，尊称先生，男生我们都可以说 sir。那如果女性的话，女士的话，我们就会说 ma'am. Is it M A A M? M A M or M A slash A M,、oh. and then the M A apostrophe A M is Madam,、mm. and then it's shortened to Ma'am. Because、mm. a lot of times people would just say M A M, Ma'am. So two are female pronouns. Exactly. All right. So a flight attendant is what we call 空姐 or 空姐空姐空服员 nowadays. They used to be called flight steward for a male or flight stewardess. Steward is S T E W A R D, and if it's a female, it's stewardess S T E W A R D E S S. Some people still call 空服人员 a flight steward or a flight stewardess, but nowadays they're trying to use flight attendant more. So just be aware that some people might use that word. 所以 stewardess 跟 attendant 这这两个字其实都是可以使用的，只是一个可能是比较以前在用，现在现在比较流行用的用法是呃、uh, attendant 这样的用法。Like、attendant, okay. So then Edward responds by saying, "Do you serve vegetarian meals?" 哎，那你们有提供素食餐点吗 ？Okay. So he could also use the verb offer, O F F E R, 提供，提供 ，or do you have? Vegetarian meals. You mean, 有没有 Yeah, but serve is just trying to emphasize that they're giving it to me. They're servicing it to me. 服务的感觉 Exactly.、Mm. So the flight attendant responds by saying, "I'm sorry, sir." Okay. So this is the same situation situation as "Hello, sir." You have a comma, but you don't have to pause. I'm sorry, sir. Vegetarian meals need to be requested at least a day. Before your flight, so he's here again. The same situation. We need a comma. But in writing, we use the same. Sir, I'm sorry. Okay. Food and drinks must be ordered at least the day before your flight. Okay. So at least a day.、Right? Mm-hmm. It could be two days or three days. At least. 
至少一天 So if I take out the at least, 也可以 So vegetarian meals need to be requested a day before your flight. Okay, the at least is just emphasizing 至少 Right, so, 所以你也可以三天前提啊，五天前提啊， mm-hmm. 反正就是要前一天至少要提。Yes. So Edward says, "I see." So I see. What does that mean? Does it really mean 他看到吗 ？I understand. I know. 嗯，我了解了，了解了。Mm-hmm. So I see could be I understand. Okay. So don't really think that it means 他看到了 ，right? <laughs> so I understand. Could I have something to drink? 那有没有什么可以喝的呢？嗯哼，有什么可以喝的吗？我可以有一个饮料吗、mm. ？So when I say something to drink, I could also say the word beverage. Beverage. If, if I wanted to use a noun, I could say, "Could I have a drink?" Or I could say, "Could I have a beverage?" Right? These both mean the same exact thing. Right? Beverage is B E V E R A G E. Beverage. Okay, so sometimes the flight attendant might ask you, "Do you want something to drink?" Or they might say, "Would you like a beverage?" All right, this is quite important because I don't want you to go on a plane and they ask you, "Do you want a beverage?" Ah,、uh, ah,、like, uh? huh? <laughs> right? Because drink and beverage they mean the same. 都是饮料的意思，甚至还有很你如果去很多西餐厅吃饭，它的饮料区它也不会写 drink， 它会写 beverage 哦。嗯嗯。So then the flight attendant says, "Certainly." Because certainly is some easy. 当然 of course. Yeah, no problem, right? <laughs> certainly, we have coffee, tea, and juice. Which one? Uh, which would you like? 嗯，所以他们有 serve， 他们有提供 coffee, tea, and juice， 有咖啡、茶跟果汁。Which would you like? 你喜欢哪一个呢？你想要哪一个呢？嗯 ，so earlier, earlier we said serve could be offer or have. Yes. In this situation, we could change have. To offer or serve,、mm. we serve coffee, tea, and juice. And don't forget, in written English, when we're listing things,、yes. we have the first thing in the list, coffee, comma, second thing in the list,、coffee. tea, comma, and juice. Okay, so I'm going to be on to the comma. Okay, which? Then I just said I didn't say which one would you like. <laughs> 其实这个两个都可以 Okay,、mm. it's just trying to emphasize. 哪一个 Right. So which one or which, which? would you like? Right. So then Edward responds by saying, "A cup of coffee would be great." 那一杯咖啡好了。嗯，一杯咖啡就听起来真的很好，很棒。Right? Would be great. And the flight attendant responds by saying, "One moment." One moment 在这边 ，moment 这个字是有一种时刻的意思，对不对？但如果我们用 one moment， 其实就有点请别人稍后等一下的意思。Right, and then a lot of times behind this, to be extra polite, they、mm-hmm. might say、please. one moment, please. Exactly. All right, let's take a short break. All right. Oh, one thing I wanted to talk about about when we finished off with the flight attendant saying、mm-hmm. one moment, we said that she could also say one moment, please. Right, but she could also say just a moment. Just a moment. So 一下下就好了 Okay. So this is something that we often hear as well. Just a moment, or just a moment, please. Just a moment sounds quite comfortable. Very, it sounds very. Just a moment. Very polite, right? 很有礼貌 P O L I T E. 很有礼貌 All right. So here, let's look at what's happening. The flight attendant moves down the aisle. A moment later, she returns with a cup of coffee. 那这个空服员呢？他往下一个走道，就是一直走下去。那过了一会儿之后呢，他就拿着一杯咖啡回来了。Right, so it says here moves down somewhere. Okay, that means kind of like there's like a narrow passage, and you're going down. 往下移动的感觉。往下移动。In Chinese, maybe they would say like 往前移动 or something. 往下往前。往前往下往前。So she moves down the aisle, or she moves forward down the aisle. 也可以，如果是要强调是往前 ，but these both mean the same thing. Typically, we say move down the aisle. Okay, if she's going the opposite way, some people might say she moves up. The aisle.、Oh. Okay, so the flight attendant moves up the aisle. This is just kind of like going forward or going backwards. So, 往前感觉是 move down. Now,、mm-hmm. 往后是 move up. Move up. 对 It's just a weird logic we have. But we don't say 往上 <laughs> 往 Yeah. So that this it's just something that we say. It's just it's the direction of it is very different. It's very hard to understand. But the only reason why we use move instead of walk.、Mm-hmm. All right. When we say that someone is walking down the aisle, what do we usually mean by that? Walking down the aisle is、mm-hmm. like. Do you do you know it? It's 
actually a way of saying that someone's getting married. Oh, really? Yeah, she walked down the aisle. Oh, 走红毯 Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah.、Oh. So that's why we usually don't typically use walk、uh, walk down the aisle unless we're talking about someone who's、that's、getting married. That's why it sounds so familiar.、Mm-hmm. An aisle, which is in Chinese, 走道走道 it has an S, right? But the S is silent, so don't say aisle, right?、Mm-hmm. It's aisle. Aisle. Okay. 嗯，这个读音要稍微注意一下 aisle. So a moment later, she returns with a cup of coffee. So she comes back with a coffee to give to Edward. So when we're talking about this, because earlier she mentioned that they had coffee, tea, and juice,、mm. I just wanted to remind everybody there's a different way to say orange juice. Okay, orange juice, <laughs> 柳橙汁 We could also call it OJ. OJ. I want a cup of OJ. 是这样讲会比较帅，是不是 ？No, it's just kind of like a more casual way. It's just, it's just for fun. There's no, there's no reason, there's no rhyme or reason to say orange juice or OJ. Ah,、啊、就像中文我们讲柳橙汁，我们说我们要橙汁。Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just a different way to say it. So I thought that would be interesting to let you guys OJ. know. OJ, OJ, I want a、yeah. cup of OJ. Okay. 还有这个 aisle 这个啊，我想要再补充一个，像我们有时候坐高铁啊，不是或坐飞机都会有靠近走道或靠近窗户嘛。Mm-hmm. You can also say like aisle seats. Oh, aisle seats. Window seats. Right.、Mm. Nobody wants the middle seat. Right. <laughs> 没有人想坐有中间的。被夹在这样都动不了， <laughs> yes. 然后尿尿也不能去。<laughs> yes, I usually I usually go for the aisle seat. Oh, so you like the aisle seat? Yeah, go for something 就是我。平常偏向要做。I go for the window. Yeah, I go for the aisle seat. Okay. More room for my feet. Social distancing. Yes. No one sit in the middle. <laughs> All right. So the flight attendant says, "Here you are, sir." 哎，这个你要的咖啡，先生。嗯，有些人会说 "Here you go, sir." Okay, 这个 go 会变成 r， 还是 r 变成 go？ They both mean the same thing. Is there anything else I can get you? 还有什么我能为您服务的吗 ？Then Edward says, "Actually." Could I bother you for another pair of headphones? Uh, 诶，可以麻烦你给我另外一副耳机吗 ？Why did he say actually? Because he's trying to kind of introduce to her like the idea that yeah, there is something else that I need for you. So actually is a very good way to transition into that to let the listener know that. Yeah, you do have something else. Oh, actually, I do. Right. So, 很多次我们在 actually 后面可能会讲说 actually I do. 因为他问说 is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, actually, I do. 事实上，哎，有你可以帮我这个忙。Could I bother you for something? So、mm-hmm. this is a good way to say could I have another pair?、Mm-hmm. Can I have? It sounds a little bit. It's not. It's not rude if you say it nicely. The way that you say it is nicely. But if you could make it sound even with the words word choice、mm-hmm. to be polite, that could make somebody feel nice. You know, like they're doing you a service. It's their job. But at the same time, if you're polite to them, it makes them feel good about themselves. Yeah. So could I bother you? It kind of like he knows it's annoying that she has to go back and forth. She just came back with a cup of coffee. So now you're saying, can I bother you to do something else? Hmm. 老师刚刚讲了一个点很好哦，就是虽然这是他的工作，对不对？服务客人，但是我们身为客人的，你看他这样来来回回走这么多趟，我们也知道这样很麻烦，对不对？ Mm-hmm. 所以如果我们的语调可以再稍微柔和一点点的话，哎，做人处事就更圆融。再加上你用的词也很重要、mm-hmm. ，right？ 对。So another pair of headphones, even though a pair of headphones is actually just one. Item. Yeah. We still say a pair of headphones because there's two sides. Exactly. Just like a pair of pants. 像裤子一样有左右边，鞋子袜子都是有两一一双两个的， exactly. 所以我们就用 pair. All right. And headphones is the are the ones that kind of go over your head. They、uh-huh. cover your head. The ones that just go into your ears can、yeah. be called earphones.、Ah. Okay. Or、mm. they they can be called earbuds.、Mm. B U D S. Okay. These two ways are both the same. They mo- both mean the same thing. The ones I have aren't working. 那我的这副不能用了。Mm-hmm. So here, pay attention. A pair of headphones, even though it's one item, 我们已经说它是复数的感觉。So 它这里用的 be 动词是 are. 对。Okay. 如果它如果是用单数，它说 the one I have isn't working. 但是 earphones, headphones, 我们知道是一两边，两边，所以是要用复数的。The flight attendant then says, "I'm sorry for the inconvenience." 
所以这个空服员说啊，造成您的不便，很抱歉。所以不便就是 inconvenience，、嗯、不方便。Okay? I'll be right back with those. 那我很快的去拿另外一副回来给您。Right, and 另外一副在这个情况一样一样又是用复数的那个字， those. 没错，所以变成 those. All right. Okay, let's take a short break. The flight attendant leaves and returns with a new set of headphones. 那空服员离开之后就拿了一副新的耳机回来。Right. So here, new set of headphones. They could also say、new、with、pair. a new pair of headphones. It's just、uh, a different way to say the same thing, basically.、Mm. Okay. 所以一副啊，我们在这边就可以学到两种方法，一个就是用 pair， 那另外一个就是用 set。嗯，那有的时候 set 也可以是在于一些的组成的一些，比如说 a set of of equipment， 嗯、就是，整组的，对，没有错，所、so、以 set 也可以是组的意思。All right, so the flight attendant she says, "There you go." 好，这个 "There you go" 是什么意思啊？就是啊， uh, 这是你要的耳机，给你喽、mm-hmm. 的感觉。So earlier we saw "Here you are," and I said that you could say "Here you go." You, go. you could also say "There, There you, you are." Go. There you go, or there, there you are. are. <laughs> 对，其实这些都可以。They all mean the same thing. 就是，哎，给你吧，给你。怎么这么难呢、啊？一样的东西就要这么多讲法。啊，可是也是好事啊，因为如果每一个人就要一定要讲，要讲同一个事情啊，只能用那一个方式去讲，也会非常的无聊， true, 不是吗 ？True. 所以还是多学一些，至少你听到了这些，你自己选你要用哪一个，嗯、但你得要知道他们的存在，因为如果人家对你讲的话，嗯、你也要知道他的意思。You have to understand,、mm. right? And then the flight attendant says, "I hope these will work all right." 希望这副耳机是没问题的。嗯、mm. ，so work 这个动词是什么意思啊？就代表可以运作的意思。我希望它可以运作 ，all right， 就是运作的好，没有问题的意思。So Edward says, "Thanks. I'm looking forward to watching a film on the on、uh, on the in-flight entertainment system." 所以这边呢 ，Edward 就说谢谢，我很期待看机上娱乐系统的电影。In flight 就是这个机上的。嗯哼。So looking forward to doing something that means that you're 期待。Yeah, you can't wait to do it. You're very excited to do it. Okay. So、yeah. I am looking forward to going to the beach tomorrow. 嗯，我明很期待明天可以去海边。嗯哼。So look forward to doing something. The verb after the two. I N G. Is an ing form. That's right. So he is looking forward to watching a film. What is a film? That means a movie. Yes, it's another word for movie. 其实它跟电影是一模一样的意思 So he could say, "I'm looking forward to watching a movie on the in-flight entertainment system because it's on this system. 在这个系统上面的一个电影，我们介系词要用 on. So on the in-flight entertainment system earlier. Earlier, many 老师有说 in flight 的意思是就是一个机上的机上的东西，还是机上服务 In flight service 就是机上的服务。对 ，so in flight entertainment system entertainment 是娱乐 system 是。系统，所、so, 以娱乐系统就是我们在飞机上可以看的那些电影啊，听那些音乐啊，他们提供的那些的呃这部分的娱乐。对 ，OK。And then he says, "Wait, it seems that the system is not responding." 哎，等等，这个这个系统好像没有反应哎。嗯 ，It seems that 就是似乎很像是还是好像是好像、嗯、the system is not responding. Respond 这个东西，回复回应的意思。对，也就是意思就是说好像坏掉了。嗯、对，没有在没有反应。It's、嗯、not responding. So the flight attendant says, "Really? Okay, 真的吗？" Let me assist you, which means let me help you. 让我来协助您。让我来协助你。So let me help you 也是一模一样的意思。And then Edward ends the dialogue by saying, "Thanks a lot." 谢谢你。对，非常的谢谢你、嗯、那种感觉。他是不是想要打散空服人员呢、啊、？Yeah, he keeps asking yeah, for so many so things. Yeah, so many things. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a good way to pick up. Maybe just let her do her job. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the review section. <laughs> All right, Mini 老师 what is the in-flight service? 就是在我们这个航班飞机上面的服务
And if I say that I am flying business class, does that mean that I'm flying the plane? <laughs> you wish. <laughs> <laughs> flying business class 的意思就是说你在搭这个飞机的时候，你坐的是一个商务舱。嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，economy class is 经济舱，我都坐经济舱。Which is what I afford. Oh, 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 oh. I can afford, oh, right? Oh, what a coincidence! Coincidence. 我只付得起 that I can afford only that. Okay. <laughs> Who is the flight attendant? 就是我们美丽又可爱又大方又又又。可是也可以是男孩子，所以他又帅的空服员，没错，空服员。<笑>然后也可以说 flight steward 还是 stewardess， steward. 看是男的还是女的。Mm-hmm. So they only serve vegetarian meals， 就是我们服务或提供这个素食的餐点。嗯哼 ，All right. So if you want a vegetarian meal， you need to request it at least a day before your flight. At least 就是至少的意思，所以如果你要这个素食餐，你要 at least a day before the flight， 你要提出申请 request 这个字， mm-hmm. 然后 at least 至少。Right. So if the flight attendant says after you ask, "Oh, can I have a coffee?" she might say, "Certainly, certainly." The is 就是 OK, of course, 当然的意思。Of course, no problem. The is、mm-hmm. so. He 带给你的时候 they might say, "Here you are." What does that mean? 那就是这个是你点的东西。Mm-hmm. Or they could say, "Here、There、you go. go," or "There you are,"、mm, or "There, there you, you go." go. Okay. <laughs> so if I need something from the flight attendant,、yes. I might say, "Could I bother you for another cup of coffee?" What is that? 就是我可以麻烦你 bother 有一种给别人困扰的意思嘛，对不对？困扰别人，所以我可以麻烦你再帮我准备另外一杯。Exactly. And if I'm excited about doing something, I might say, "I look forward to going to the beach." What is that? Look forward to 后面加上动词 ing 代表很期待做某事的意思。Right, but if I'm calling my friend to go to the beach, but they're not responding, what does that mean? 那就代表他们没有 responding， 没有回应。嗯哼，可以是一个人 ，or 可以是一个，比如说 iPad， 我一直按它，没有没有反应。It's not responding. 嗯、mm. ，OK， you can use that as well. And what does the word assist mean? 就是协助，像 help 一样。那如果你是秘书的话，就叫做 assistant. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, assistant 就是协助的那个人，秘书。All right, hope you guys learned a lot of new words today, new adjectives that you can use in your everyday lives.、Mm-hmm. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>《In-Flight Service》Edward is flying economy class. He presses the button to call a flight attendant. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Do you serve vegetarian meals? I'm sorry, sir. Vegetarian meals need to be requested at least a day before your flight. I see. Could I have something to drink? Certainly. We have coffee, tea, and juice. Which would you like? Cup of coffee would be great. One moment. Here you are, sir. Is there anything else I can get you? Actually, could I bother you for another pair of headphones? The ones I have aren't working. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'll be right back with those. There you go. I hope these will work all right. Thanks. I'm looking forward to watching a film on the in-flight entertainment system. Wait. It seems that the system is not responding. Really? Let me assist you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>